in this question we are given if f of x is equals to this determinant and f of 2 is equals to 6 then we have to find the value of 1 by 5 summation r going 1 to 25 f of r first of all we will simplify f of x so if we extend this matrix along row 3 what we get f of x is sine of beta minus gamma into cos x plus beta sine x plus beta into cos of x plus gamma into sine x plus gamma minus of sine gamma minus alpha into cos x plus alpha sine x plus alpha cos x plus gamma and sine x plus gamma plus sine alpha minus beta into cos x plus alpha into sine x plus alpha here we get cos x plus beta into sorry last is x plus beta so expanding this see we get this will be equals to sine beta minus gamma into see when we solve this we get sine x plus gamma into cos x plus beta minus of sine x plus beta into cos x plus gamma which will be the formula for sine x plus gamma minus of x plus beta minus of sine gamma minus alpha when we solve this we get sine x plus alpha into cos x minus x plus alpha minus of sin x plus alpha into cos x plus gamma which will be sin x plus gamma minus of x plus alpha and the last term will be plus sin alpha minus beta into sin see this will form x plus beta minus x plus alpha so this will be equals to sin beta minus gamma into sine gamma minus beta minus of sine gamma minus alpha into sine this is gamma minus alpha plus of sine alpha minus beta into sine this will be beta minus alpha this is our value of f of x simplifying it further we'll get f of x as minus of sine square beta minus gamma plus sine square gamma minus alpha plus sine square alpha minus beta this is the value of f of x so what we see this f of x is constant f of x is a constant value because it don't depend upon the variable x and we are given that f of 2 is equals to 6 now we have to find the value of 1 by 5 summation r going from 1 to 25 f of r this will be equals to 1 by 5 into f of 1 plus f of 2 plus f of 3 plus so on till f of 25 and what we see is f of x is a constant so every value for every value of x f of x will be 6 so this will be 1 by 5 into 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus last term also be 6 we have 6 25 times so we get 1 by 5 into 25 into 6 which will be equals to 5 into 6 that is 30 so 30 is the answer of this question